Jones. 22 hours a day. That's how much time I spend in the cellar every day. It's dark down here, but that's where Daddy wants me to stay. I get two hours a day to eat, take a bath, and spend time with the rest of my family. I'm very lucky to have a daddy like him. My situation wasn't always this comfortable, though. You see, I wasn't a very good boy at all. I never listened to my parents and tried to run away a couple of times. After Mommy went away, Daddy even blamed me for it. He's probably right to do so. I mean, she wouldn't have gone into the forest if she hadn't have been looking for me. I miss her. My behind was red and swollen for days after my last attempt at running. My face too. I swear I thought I would end up blind because of it. But he was mad and worried. I forgave him a long time ago though, and he did the same for me. Everything I have in life is for my own good. Daddy loves me, little sis, my aunt, and baby cousin so much that he would never let anything happen to us. Since mommy still hasn't came home, he's very protective. I've been really good lately and I think I'm very close to getting some actual outside time. Under strict supervision, of course. I'll take it though. I haven't felt the wind on my face in six, no, seven years. I hope daddy doesn't forget this time. He sleeps all day and just walks around the house outside during the night. I don't sleep much as the cellar's a bit cramped since little sis moved in with me, so I hear him almost every night. I've made it a point to keep her ears covered while she sleeps so when daddy fires his gun she doesn't wake up. She scares so easily and hasn't yet earned the same amount of free time as I have. She'll have to prove how well she listens to daddy before that happens. These people out there, daddy told me once, they're monsters. They're dangerous and would just love to take you away from me. I won't let that happen. He's such a good daddy. Why, just the other night I got real sick. Don't worry, it happens when I don't eat for a couple of days. And I snuck upstairs for a sip of water. When I looked out the window, there was daddy, fighting off three of them. Can you believe it? Three at once. He's not scared of their claws and fangs. He stabbed one in its second mouth, then spun and shot the other in its bulbous, blistering skull. I sprinted back to the cellar and cuddled tight with little sis. I'm glad my crying didn't wake her. On second thought, after what I saw, I'm never leaving my room again. Daddy is such a good protector. <laughs>